Good morning, everyone. Minister Tom here. Today, I think we're going to tackle the uh, question of why did Jesus speak in parables? We have to go back to the first century. And in those days, those of the Jewish religion often spoke parables because they had a story behind them. And it was the meaning of the story, which was very important in the making of the parable. In the case of Jesus, he had a dual reason. The dual reason was he was hated. He was outspoken. He was talking about concepts which were outside the general teaching of Judaism. Therefore, the Sadducees and the, uh, the Pharisees did not like what he was talking about. Remember, Jesus began to preach in a temple, in the temple in Jerusalem, when he was 13 years old. Obviously, he knew scripture very, very well, and that made those who were the judges and the other religious people, such as the priests, very, very nervous. They kept an eye on him as he grew up. It wasn't until he turned the age of 30 that he began to pick and then teach those apostles the importance of his teaching, which came from God himself. Jesus used many different symbols, such as salt, bread, and sheep, in order to get his point across. Remember, Jesus said that his sheep knew who he was, and when he called their name, they would come and follow him. He also had parables having to do with seeds. In the parable, he said that seed put out on rocky ground would be eaten by the birds. Other seed, which was put on not good soil, would be eaten up or destroyed by the thickets and other weeds. He also said seed, which was put on good ground, would flourish and bring in fruit. What Jesus was saying there as an example was that certain people will not listen to you, no matter how hard you try. Some others will listen to you and even think about it. Some may actually turn to the word and be saved, while other people will listen intently and learn and will become a follower, which will then be saved by the Holy Spirit. These parables were most important and are written about throughout the Gospels. I suggest reading a commentary on parables so that you understand the purpose of them better. Most importantly with Jesus' parables, he was trying to teach a lesson so that other Jewish leaders did not necessarily understand what he was saying, but taught it so that the apostles did understand and would be able to ask questions to get a more thorough answer. That's today's lesson. This is Minister Tom, and I will see you soon.